role reversal again. So now I'm in my garage, you've been used to seeing Phil in his garage and me up in one of my bedrooms, but now I'm in the garage doing my little workout. So today, as promised, it's an arm workout. Again, minimal equipment bands are the main order of the day, as usual. Um, but some other bits and pieces as well that you, most of you've probably got around. Some of you got light dumbbells, they'll be perfect. I'm pretty aware none of you got, not many of you have access to big dumbbells. So um, with this workout, as with most of mine, it's pretty high repetition stuff in order to get the sort of burn that you're looking for. So it's an arm workout. Four exercises per set as it were. So we're gonna work with a tricep exercise straight into a bicep exercise, straight into a tricep into a bicep. So working front of the arm, back of the arm, um, next to each other. So working the front and the back. So I will go through each exercise individually and, and show you what you gotta do. And then what I'll do as normal is put up on the screen the program sets and reps so you know where you're at with that. So I guess let's get started with the first exercise which is a tricep one, let's do it. Okay, in terms of a warm-up before you start, I would literally just take your band and just literally do a few overheads with the band, take it as far as you can, that's comfortable for your shoulders, maybe 10 of those, keep the abs tight so you're not over, over bending the back, 10 of those, and then take your band and just do some pull-aparts, keeping those elbows tucked in. So 10 pull-aparts, another 10, overs with the band, 10 more pull apart, and it just keep, gets your shoulders warmed up, ready to train. So then we're straight into exercise number one. So I'm just about to get on with exercise number one, which is a tricep exercise, as I said. So what I've tried to do with these um, arm exercises, just try and vary them up by using different grips. So when I say different grips, so say you do a tricep exercise like this normally, maybe we do something with palms up, palms in a neutral position. So this first one is, um, I mean, I'm quite lucky here that we've got, like, I've got like a proper bench, but you could do this laid on anything, anything you can lay on and put, um, put a band underneath. So basically we've got broom handle band attached to it. So all I'm gonna do is put the band underneath the bench or whatever you're using. Make sure it's sort of underneath where your back is and thread it onto the other end of your bench, on the end of your bar, sorry. Then obviously a narrow grip, so you want your hands directly above your shoulders and all you're gonna do is bring in elbows really tight into your sides and then drive up. So you can see as I get to the top of the rep, the band gets nice and tight, so I'm pushing against that. And this is working the back of your arms, your triceps, by keeping your elbows tight. Obviously, if you want to turn it into a chest exercise, you could take a wider grip and do exactly the same thing. So triceps there, again, we're gonna go 20 reps just to make sure you get a good burn on the triceps and just remember to keep those elbows in nice and tight uh, and that'll work the back of the arms. And then let, let yourself escape from the uh, contraption. <laughs> so for your second exercise, it's a bicep exercise. So we're gonna use the band now. I was talking earlier about different grips. So with this one, it's a bicep curl, but we're gonna keep a reverse grip. So what that means is palms down. So standing in your band, make sure you've got tension. If you don't have handles on the band, don't worry, just hold the band with the palms down. And all you're gonna do is a bicep curl and leave the palms facing the floor. There, so slowly up, right to the top of the range and slowly down. Show you from the side, so right up and all the way down to fully straight. Remember, look out at the bottom, get the full range out of the movement. So, as always, because we're using band, I'm gonna go for 20 reps, just to make sure we really get a good feel out of it. So slow, and try if you can to keep those palms facing down. That's number two. So again, so this time, you're gonna use the smaller band, the mini band, um, and we're just gonna do a single arm variation, but this time, a tricep exercise, but with the palm up. So all you're gonna do, is thread. Imagine putting the back of your hand like that, but then secure it by taking your little finger and your thumb out. So that just keeps the band palm facing up. Other hand on your shoulder, and then literally just extending the arm down to fully locked out, and then back up. If you want to make it a bit harder, you just literally take that hand further over your shoulder. Or sometimes with these bands, you can get a, a set with a harder resistance one, so use the one that's a bit more resistant. So 20, and then literally swapping over. So remember, hand through, take the little finger and the thumb out, and literally keep that palm up. 
20 on that arm as well. Then we're back into the final one of this uh, giant set, which is a bicep. Right, we're on to the final exercise of this little set of four. So it's biceps again. So it's basically a concentration curl, but using the band. So you're gonna take that mini, same mini band and place it under the foot. So palm goes in, palm up this time, put the elbow into the crease of the knee, and literally, you're just gonna curl from there right up the top and slowly back down. Up the top, slowly back down. So, again, the important thing here is not to just let it drop away from you. So it's easy enough to come to the top and then just let it drop. With the great thing about bands is that he's working on both parts of the movement, the concentric and the eccentric. So make sure when you get to the top, you make sure you resist this bit, get the most out of it. So slow in both directions. In fact, it's even slower on the way down. I take this downward bit even slower. So really focus on it. So once you've got 20 on that arm, switch it over, exactly the same, palm up, elbow into the crook of the knee, and you go again. Slow, 20 on each arm. And that's the set completed. That's your four exercises. So you're going between tricep, bicep, tricep, bicep. Now I want you to take a little breather and then just run the whole, whole thing again. So run through that little set twice, and then we're on to set number two. Okay, your next giant set. So the next set of four exercises again starts with the tricep exercise. So it's either dips on the floor or dips on the bench. Now, you'll see me do dips on the bench plenty of times, but some people really struggle with these. So there's a lower option if you want to give it a try. And that's these. So hands are narrow, about shoulder width behind you, flat on the floor. All you're going to do is lower yourself back and then push and squeeze the triceps hard. So this is the important part when you get to the top and the arms are straight, is to squeeze. So you lower your body weight back, push up, squeeze. So that's your lower level. If you find them just too easy or they're not challenging enough on your triceps, remember you've always got the option of your bench dips. So same thing, shoulder width with the hands, fingers tips pointing forward, take yourself off the bench, just let the bum come slightly off the bench. So we're not out here, close and down and squeeze and again the important part is the squeeze at the top so down and squeeze and generally when you drop don't let the elbow go any higher than shoulder once you start getting down here you're going to hurt your shoulders so just take the elbow to shoulder height or slightly below but the important part is to squeeze at the top there so what 15 of those because they're a little bit more tricky or take it to the floor if you find those too hard. And that's exercise number one of your second set. Exercise number two on this set is a preacher type curl in a squat position. Okay, so you need your band, but for this one it needs to be anchored at the bottom. So you see I've got my band attached to me in the bottom there. So if you, if you haven't got an anchor like me that goes into a door, uh, you could get somebody who's with you to stand on it or put it around their ankles or find uh, the bottom of it, like the leg of a chair or something like something that's secure that's going to hold it. So once you've got your band secured, take it in, uh, again, a supinated grip, so palms up. What I want you to do is sit down into a squat, hold that position and then curl from there. So that's the harder level because I'm having to hold my balance and curl. If you're struggling with that, put your elbows onto your knees. That just gives you that little bit of balance and security to sort of hold you. So again, 20 reps. Squeezing right at the top and going to straight arms. And that is exercise number two. And now we're moving back to triceps. Okay, back to a tricep exercise. Single arm, single arm exercise. The only difference here is your anchor point has now moved to the top of the door. So the anchor point's now at the top before it was at the bottom, so just scoot it round. And you're going to take hold of your band, tuck your elbow in tight, and literally take your arm straight across the body, squeeze the tricep, and then slowly back up. So you're moving from the chest there with the hand, straight out diagonally downwards, and back up. If holding both of the bands is too hard, Maybe just take the band sort of single, leave the rest dangling, just go from there. That just makes it a little bit easier. But again, as with all these exercises, you're really let, controlling it on the way back, trying to keep that wrist nice and straight. So all the way to full length arm and all the way up on every single rep. 
20 each arm, so one arm, turn around, do the other arm. Okay, last bicep exercise on this uh, giant set. So this is exercise number four of the second set. So we've still got the anchor point at the top, but this time just change the band up for something like, something that doesn't stretch. So this is just something like a belt off something, you can use a dressing gown, cord, something that is not gonna snap. So it's got to be something secure. So all we're gonna do is use this, to use our own body weight and do bicep curls with this. So depending how hard you want to make it, your feet want to be either close to the door to make it hard or further away to make it easier. So I'll show you. If the feet were close, you're leaning back, you got, you're obviously pulling more of your body weight. Further away, it's a little bit easier. So what you're keeping, the idea here is to keep the elbows high. So try and keep your elbows at least as high as your shoulders. And I want you to bring your knuckles into your forehead. So elbows high, knuckles into forehead. So you can see by doing that, I'm working the biceps to use pull me in. So the more laid back you are, so if I take the, the cord lower down and my feet are close to the door, it's gonna be a lot harder. So that's where you need to have faith that your cord is pretty secure and that your anchor point is pretty secure. Otherwise you're gonna be uh, down there on the floor. So that's number four. So 15 of those, because again, they're a little bit more challenging. Uh, and that's your whole circuit done. Then you've got to repeat that again. So right through that second circuit twice, and then take a little breather. Then we're on to your last two exercises, which you do on their own, which are just burnout exercises. Okay, your last tricep exercise is like a burnout. So I'm just literally going for as many reps as possible. So take your band. The handles you don't really need, so we're just going to bundle them up. But take the band and lay it under your back. So under your back so it's pinned down. Then get, take your handles and as tight as you can manage. And literally, you're just going to rep out some skull crush as many as you can. If it's too easy, just go further down the band, get more resistance. And just from there to there, bringing your hands towards your forehead and then fully out straight at the top. Forehead straight. So the important bit is this elbow stays above the shoulder and stays there. Even when you straighten out, try and keep it still. And I just want you to go through as many of those as possible. So you might do 50, 60, 100 reps. Just keep it going. And if it's too easy again, just take it further down the band. Take it as far as you can. So that's your last and final exercise for triceps. And I want you to really go for it and get as many as you can. Then we're gonna finish off with the final bicep exercise, which we'll do now. Okay, your last bicep exercise. So these are called the 21s. That's because there's 21 reps. So uh, we've got seven at the top, seven at the bottom, and seven full. So take your band, stand in it. Make sure you've got plenty of tension. So I'm gonna try and grab fairly low down so I've already got plenty of tension on the band. So first of all, I'll show you from the side so you can see what's going on. So we're going to start with a straight arm and do half, seven reps to halfway. So two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then we're going to do seven reps from the halfway point to the top. So seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now the challenge, seven full ones. So all the way to the bottom, all the way to the top. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. So if you give yourself plenty of tension on the band, they should be pretty challenging. So seven bottom half, seven top half, seven full. And that is your workout done. Biceps and triceps are finished. So well done. I'll put a screenshot up now of the whole workout so you can take a, you can take a screenshot of the screen now with it all on and let me know how you get on with it. Right, that's Mel's latest workout. She loves training a bit of arms, doesn't she? She's going to have bigger biceps and triceps than me at this rate. Uh, another easy workout for you to do at home using minimal equipment. Give it a go. Obviously very high reps again, lots of exercises, lots of volume, but that's all you can really do at this time. 
for my next one, I mentioned it in a previous video that we're going to do something a little bit different on running. So what I've done is videoed myself going through a, a bit of a sprint training regime to try and get a little bit faster. I started to do a little bit more sprinting just because um, I was getting a bit bored with like the steady state stuff and I thought it, you know, it might potentially benefit that as well. So like if I get faster over 100 metres, it's potentially going to help me get faster over 5k which then is potentially going to help me get faster over 10k so i went through a sprint workout so there's a dynamic warm-up in there um and some sprinting drills and then the actual sprints themselves so keep your eyes out for that give it a go um as always like and subscribe um keep following us keep giving us the sorts of things that you would like to see um and just keep watching more than anything thanks very much See you later.